Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome to Smithy of the Fishy. Created in 48 hours for a game maker jam under the theme of Countdown, Smithy of the Fishy is a fast-paced, weaponsmithing, dungeon-crawling, loot-gathering, fish-scented, pixelated game, and that sounds like a fun time. The developers seem interested in making this into a bigger game eventually if people like it, so if you do like it, let them know. But for now, let's go see what they've got. Uh, how do I play this? Okay, WASD. Cool. Let's start. I can't really upgrade anything. I just started. Ooh. So the point of the game is basically... Okay, is that damage? Did I take damage? What did I take? Oh, that's... Okay, yes, we have damage things. We have traps. It is a dungeon, after all. I don't seem able to attack or anything, but the main point of the game is that you are going around, gathering loot, and racing against the sun. Because the further... Ooh, that's a lot of money. Ow. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot more damage. Apparently every time I take a little bit of damage, I lose my loot. That's not a good thing. We have the- Ooh. Lava hurts. Who oh, Stop that. I'm trying to gather loot here. What are you, a zombie fish? Yeah. Anyway, the point is, you're going around the dungeon, gathering as much loot as you can before sunset. If sunset hits and you're still in the dungeon, well, something bad might happen. And that's a bad thing. So for now, we're getting some loot, and I have no clue where the exit actually- GASP! That's what happens if you don't race the sun. The Salman comes out. Ooh, it's the exit. Okay, I'll get this last little bit of loot and I suppose head out. What's over here? I'm getting greedy. I shouldn't be, but I am. Was that a voice in the game? Or, yeah, it was a voice in the game. Was that me, or...? Okay. To the exit! That is a lot of loot! Making it rain! No clue how much I got, but it just keeps going. Space. Oh, Now the fishy smithy! Heck yeah! Oh boy, I get how this works now. So yeah, I'm a fish smith. And I go into there and I get all of the loot that I can. And then I come back out here and make all of that loot into a weapon for one person for a small amount of money. Yeah, <laughs> Fun times. Oh wait, I should have checked the upgrades. Well, I can check the upgrades after this. Now that we've got a feel for things, let's get some more. Oh, for a moment there, I thought one of those enemies was holding a gem. That was a bit odd. So wait, how am I crafting stuff with the gems? Ooh, a key. What's a key do? Be there a locked door around somewhere? So much loot, so little time. But really, what do I do with this key? I like having the loot. Loot is fantastic. The more the better, the more the merrier. But what does this key go to? This is a fast-paced game. And I don't have time for no locked doors. Does it go to a super secret? Super chest? Perhaps? Ow! Rude! Ah oh, man, all of my loot. Why, Mr. Deadly Fish? Why? What did I do to you? Well, there's the entrance. Okay, well, I don't need the entrance. I need the exit. I assume they are two separate doors. The smoked salman has arrived. Oh no! Hmm, wonder what he tastes like. Uh, I'm running out of dungeon, I think, unless it keeps going. I don't know how big the actual dungeons are. Hello. Hey, wait, where'd my key go? Oh, hi, guy. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's, um, not be around you. According to the game's page, if the cell man gets you, apparently I missed those, if the cell man gets you, then you lose half your loot. So that's a bad thing. Although I would very much like to find the exit. I'm almost out of time here. Oh, very dangerously close to, oh. That easy. That's just the way that I came in. The exit sign wasn't there earlier. But okay. That is a lot of gems going into... Molten... Gems? Am I a gemsmith? What am I crafting for these people? Wow, that was a lot. I am the biggest and the best fish smith ever. Now then, let's check those upgrades. Oh, so there's my money at the bottom left. I thought maybe that was my gym count. 
Magnet resistance to damage? Ooh. Uh, magnet. I do enjoy magnetism in games. Uh, yeah, let's go full magnet. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't have enough for anything else. How do I... How do I... Okay, escape. Cool. I didn't want to press the wrong thing. Sometimes with these games, you gotta worry about, oops, I pressed escape and it closed out the game. Oh, that is some jamming music, though. I dig this game. It's simple fun. And it's all very well made, especially being done in 48 hours. Very hard to thread the needle sometimes. Yeah, this was done in 48 hours. It's very simple. You're just going around randomly generated maps. Collecting stuff. So yeah, very simple for what it is. But they did really well with it. And I like that you get all the different little traps. I've yet to have issue with the spike traps, but... You know, now that I've said that, I'll probably start running over a bunch of them. Ah, oh, no, my loot. So glad I got the magnet, though. Handy, that. Uh, I would like to go get that chest, but I can't because there's a fish by it. What are you guys, anyway? Are you zombie fish or something else? Hey, hey, thank you. Maybe you're goblin fish. Oh, God, goblin sharks. You ever seen one of those? Those things are... Uh-oh. The smoked salmon has arrived. Yeah, goblin sharks. I don't recommend meeting one. They're kind of funky looking and not in the good way. Give me that. Apparently magnetism does not work on a key, which is a bit ironic considering it's the only thing that would be magnetized around here. Well, depending on what it's made of, I suppose. Is it fish metal? Or is it just a standard gold key? Because I don't think gold does magnets all that well. But I should probably make my way to the exit now. So I think that's what you're doing, you just... Hi, guy! Ow, my money! Ow, stop that, guy! That's cheating. You got me in a narrow corridor. And also, I like the wee that he does. And he has a voice. Uh-oh. I can't get through. Oh, no! Oh, no! Where's the exit? No, out me way, me am fish. Me am struggle. Where is exit? Ah, my money- oh. Well. There's what happens if you don't get back to the exit in time. I lost half of my loot, which I had a lot of loot. But, maybe it'll still be enough. I'm not a smith myself, but I'm pretty sure if you go that fast, it's not going to come out as a quality... ...whatever it is you smith for a fish. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough money for upgrades, so let's go again! I could see myself playing this a bit more in my off time. Like, seeing how far I could go... ...not losing all of my loot. But seeing how far I could go with the upgrades and all. Like, getting a bunch of the magnet going. Because you get a loot-type game like this. You get something where you can get magnet upgrades. I'm always going to go for the magnet. All the other stuff is pretty good, like resistance, I'm assuming, makes it so you lose less money or uh, loot whenever you get hit by something, so that's fantastic, but I like the magnetism. I like watching all the little shiny things work their way towards me. It's like, come to me, my precious shinies. I will take you to... well, I'll, I'll take you to a molten death, but you don't have to know that. Oh, okay, so there's that. So do I... Like, okay, I don't walk up to it. Oh, that's... Smoked Salman has arrived. Ah, so once he arrives, once it's like midday, then you can just go to the exit, I guess, as long as you have the key. Okay. Well, let's just make it a short day. Because I managed to get a lot in a short distance. I don't know if the levels get harder over time or not. I don't think the game is that difficult at this point. Ta-da! I've smithed a thing! Upgrades, please. See, the if I didn't point it out before, the controls are fairly simple. WASD to move around, space to do the thing where it tells you space, and then escape to go out of menus. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Well, I can check out resistance now. Thank you! Alright. Let's go again! This is fun. Ooh. Yeah, I'm digging the music in this game. 
Good job, whoever was in charge of the music. This game, sadly, does not have credits to it. Ah. But developers, if you're watching this, you did a good job with this. And shake the hand of the one behind the music. Because that's a bump and beat. Ow, that's my money. That's my bread and butter. No, I like my bread and butter. It's tasty. It tastes like money. Actually, money tastes horrible. I wouldn't recommend eating it. Bread and butter is good, though. Alright, where's some loot? Okay, there's some loot. And I like that you that it's a fast-paced game, but you also have to be super careful. Otherwise, you'll hit something. More than likely, you'll be hitting the fishmen. But you get all the little obstacles, like the little lo tiny lava pools. I don't know how I escaped you. Yeah, like all the little tiny lava bits. They add a nice little challenge to it because they're just kind of there. And oftentimes, even when there's just the one out in the open, you can still run the risk of hitting it if you're not being careful. So that's a nice, very simple challenge. It works well for the game. Although I'm not entirely sure why there's a bunch of lava in this dungeon. I mean, yeah, it's a dungeon, but like, that's a lot of lava underneath a wooden floor, or what looks to be a wooden floor. That's a lot of loot. Shazam! What do I get? What do I get? Oh, 246 again? Huh. Maybe it goes by certain amounts, like depending on how much money you, how much loot you had gathered. What kind of upgrades? Yeah, and the upgrades, the prices go up as you get more, so... It's one of those types of games. It keeps you playing so you can go and get more, and then you can get more. Get more loot, get more money, get more stuff. Get more loot, get more money, get more stuff. Wash, rinse, repeat, and have a fun time the whole way through. Especially with that funky music. Movement! Yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave it here. I'm pretty sure I've showed off most of what this game has to see. But, again, if you like what you're seeing here, then go check it out on the game's page and let the developers know you like it. Because I know I do. But anywho, this has been Fishy of the Smithy. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay fishy.